So you're eating less than 15 grams total of carbs daily or even less. And you're eating lots of fat. And one of two things is happening. Either you're getting lean or what no one's really talking about, you're gaining fat and wondering what you're doing wrong. And here's the part no one is telling you. Two people could eat the same ketogenic diet. One will lose fat and the other gains it. And why does very low carb keto, ketovore carnivore work brilliantly for some and backfire for others? I'm Coach Juliet Edens, your health and wellness coach, as well as a personal trainer. And today I'm breaking down exactly where diet fat goes on carnivore, keto or ketovore. Why some people seem to burn it effortlessly and how you can fix fat gain on a ketogenic diet without quitting. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And if you've been carnivore, keto, ketovore for a while and you're still confused about fat, you are not alone. Most people were taught eat fat, get fat, eat fewer calories, lose weight. And the ketogenic diets flip that upside down. So let's go ahead and start with the truth. Fat itself does not automatically make you fat. The reason the very low carb keto, ketovore, ketogenic carnivore diets work is hormones. It's not about math. So why people eat fat and never gain weight? If you're eating 180 to 220 grams of fat per day and not gaining weight, your body is doing something extremely important. Your metabolism is functioning the way it's supposed to. And here's what that tells me about you. Your insulin stays low. Your liver makes ketones efficiently. Your muscles are using fat for fuel. Your mitochondria are working. Your hunger hormones are regulated. Your inflammation is under control. And your fat flows in and out of cells easily. When insulin is low, fat is not locked into the fat cells. It remains mobile. It can be used. It can be burned. And this is what we call metabolic flexibility. Your body trusts incoming fuel so it doesn't store it. The fat becomes energy, hormones, cell membranes, fuel for your brain, ketones. Fat is no longer the backup fuel. It becomes your main fuel supply. And again, congratulations to you. But where does diet, dietary fat actually go? When fat enters your system on a very, very low carb keto, ketovore, carnivore diet, it has four possible destinations. It's either burned immediately for energy, it is turned into ketones, a small amount is temporarily stored and later released, or some is excreted if intake exceeds your digestion capacity. Unlike carb metabolism, you are not stuck in storage mode with the fat. You're in burn mode. Your nervous system, liver hormones are aligned to use fat and not hoard it. And the reason some people gain fat on a very low carb diet is, and yes, they do gain fat. It's, they feel like it's not working and carnivore is wrong, but that's not the reason. It's because your body still healing metabolic damage. And I'll go through some of the common causes. Your insulin is still elevated. If you are carb dependent for decades, insulin won't overnight um, resolve itself and normalize. Your fat enters fat cells, but not doesn't exit them efficiently yet. So the fix, don't force the fat. Uh, if you're at 180 to 20 grams of fat and you are gaining fat, reduce those added fats. Still eat fatty foods, egg, fish, fatty meat, but reduce what you're adding to it as far as fats. Stay as very low to zero carbs as you possibly can. Let insulin fall naturally. Another reason could be protein is too low. Sometimes if we go too low, I've seen people go, you know, 50 grams of protein a day, that's, that's a little too low. And too little protein will slow down your metabolism. Muscle loss will reduce your calorie burn and your fat storage could increase. So make sure you're eating your protein and your fat. But again, 
if you're struggling with weight gain, don't add a bunch of fat, just eat the fatty food on its own, on itself. So some of us use fat as entertainment. We're eating cheese all day. We're throwing a stick of butter in our coffee, lots of heavy cream a few times a day in our coffee, constantly nibbling, even if it's keto foods. Fat or eating it is not entertainment. The fix really is to eat real meat, eliminate the snacking, and let hunger drive your intake. Be sure you're not eating out of habit. Another reason, and a big one, is that chronic stress and poor sleep, high cortisol, black fat loss, no matter how perfect your diet is. You have got to sleep more, train less intensely if you're in the gym and you're suffering from fat gain. And for now, at least until you're metabolically healthy, stop these long fasts. They're not doing you any good at this point. Make sure you eat enough protein. Another reason is you're new. I mean, weight gain early is often water. It, you're repairing your hormones. It's not uncommon, and it doesn't mean you're broken if, if within the first 30 days you happen to gain weight, but really give it 30 to 60 days before changing a thing. It's really important to stay consistent and not change up things every week. And part four, the biggest lie is eating fat does not make you fat. Eating fat while insulin is high will carnivore, keto, ketovore will drop your insulin, which unlocks the fat burning. And what does success look like? If carnivore is working, your hunger will drop, your cravings will vanish, your waistline will shrink, your energy will rise. And that blow, that's my favorite part, it disappears. Your clothing will fit differently, recall, regardless of what it says on the scale. And if that's not happening, your diet isn't wrong but the structure is. If you're gaining fat on carnivore, keto, ketovore, your body is not broken. It's communicating something to you and you need to listen to it. When signals get fixed, fat loss will become effortless. If you want help dialing in on this, book a free call with me at julietedenswellness.com. I'll, I'll help you decide what to eat, how much protein you need, and how to manage fat and how to make your body burn fat again. Now, I wanna say a special thank you to one of my favorite coaches, Stephanie Persons. It was her video version that I watched that gave me the idea to do additional research and make this video. So check her out. Thank you guys. I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.